I'm Ms. Reed Ipser, and I'm the Director of Technical Services for NYSIS Corporation. And I'm Carson Lurie. I'm one of the analytical chemists here at NYSIS Corporation. And today, we'd like to talk to you about the differences between two very important pest control chemicals, DOT and boric acid. That's right. That's right. I said the differences between DOT and boric acid because they're not the same. No, they're not the same. In fact, comparing DOT and boric acid is a lot like comparing a lemon to a lime. Both are citrus fruits, both contain vitamins A and C, but they're completely different colors, they have different levels of vitamins A and C. They do. And as we all know, they taste completely different. Yes, they do. I mean, would you want to drink a margarita made from a lemon? No, but I drink whiskey. So, let's look at this with DOT and boric acid. Looking at these molecular structures, we see that these two also do not look the same. In addition, they vary in a lot of other very important properties. One of these properties is corrosion. DOT is actually a corrosion inhibitor. It stops corrosion. Boric acid, due to its acidic properties, actually can cause corrosion. That's right. It's very important when you're applying these products into, say, wall voids where you don't know where the fittings or fixtures are because you don't have to worry about applying DOT as you would using boric acid. That's right. And also, there's some other properties, such as solubility, and the most important of all of these is actually the percent boron differences. DOT and boric acid do not contain the same levels of this crucial element. They do not. They do not. And boron is the killing agent within both of these. So what it does is it disrupts the metabolism in the insect gut. So if this is really the killing agent, Let's look at the difference of percent boron in these two molecules. DOT has 20.96% boron. Boric acid only has 17.48% boron. We're just going to divide boric acid into DOT. When we do this, we get a factor of 1.2. DOT contains 20% more boron than boric acid does. That's right, which means that you need 20% more boric acid in the finished solution to be comparing lemons to lemons. Huh, so if that's the case, let's look at another important thing, solubility. Solubility. You would want boric acid to be more soluble if you had to add more of it to solution, right? Well, you can't do it because DOT is actually the more soluble compound. They have the opposite relationship. So, DOT is twice as soluble as boric acid is. That's right. Looking right. at the chemical structures, we see why. DOT is what's called an amorphous solid. You can see this in the structure with all the free-floating small units. These small units can be arranged in a variety of ways, many different ways. Boric acid, however, you see is very simple and defined. This is called a crystalline structure. It cannot move around. It only has one defined way of bonding. That's right, and which is important is that the solubility allows a PMP to actually have a greater concentration when using a variety of different formulations, where it's liquid spraying, foaming, wet or dry foaming. So think about it. You can have a 10 to 15 percent concentration of DOT in a foam as compared to, say, boric acid would only maybe maximize at 6 percent. So I think what would be really cool is to see the solubility differences in a musical representation. I agree, and I just, by chance, brought a guitar with me today. Ha, huh, he is always prepared. I'm always prepared. This is boric acid, Carson. This is DOT. <laughs> Wow, that was pretty cool. Let's see that again. It is pretty cool. Boric acid, really boring, right? DOT. And you know what? He can change that riff on his guitar. You know why? Because DOT is an amorphous solid. It can do that. It can change however you want. So when it goes into solution, just like Dr. Reed was saying, it's going to be way more soluble. Way more soluble. All these little units, they just break apart. Super easy. We've actually done this in a video. And um, the boric acid we saw was actually falling out of solution. It was. It does fall out of solution. And it's really nasty. And it just doesn't give anybody a fuzzy warm feeling. The DOT mixes great in solution, stays in solution. Stays in solution, which is excellent. It makes a one-phase solution. Boric acid does not do that. 
So that's going to be super important. I mean, you don't want boric acid clogging sprayers or anything like that. Causing Clogging's issues. bad. It's bad. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you just can't compare lemons to limes because they're just not the same. They're not the same. DOT is clearly superior.